In many ways, Andrew Jackson stands out as unique amongst his peers as president. What are some of those ways? What type of legacy did he leave? As presidents go, there is no doubt that Andrew Jackson was different. He was the first president born to immigrant parents, and he was largely self-educated. Elected out of Tennessee, he was the first president to be a resident of a state other than Massachusetts or Virginia. At the time of his election, the rapidly expanding and industrializing nation was brimming with optimism and hopes for its future. Jackson, the only president to ever be held as a prisoner of war, was the last president who served in the American Revolution. Yet he was the first to ever ride a train. Jackson's presidency marked a shift in the course of American history. Prior to his time in office, presidents vetoed bills based on matters of constitutionality. Jackson, who vetoed more bills than any president before him, established a precedent of vetoing legislation as a matter of policy. Jackson often made executive decisions based on personal beliefs and declared that his actions protected the interest of the common man. Despite being raised poor, Jackson's stunning military successes and national popularity enabled him to attain the highest office in the land. He overcame the corrupt bargain loss in the election of 1824 and emerged victorious in 1828, surviving possibly the most vicious presidential campaign in history. While scandal and dirty politics were never far away during his time in the White House, Jackson's action-first optimism matched the can-do mentality of Americans at that time. Jackson entered the office with the intentions of cleansing the government of corruption and restoring the nation's finances. He replaced around 10% of the government's officers in the executive branch, firmly establishing the spoils system as part of Washington, D.C. politics. Jackson also kept a very watchful eye on congressional expenditures. He was quick to veto any spending bill he believed was too costly or benefited one area of the country over another. This penny-pinching approach enabled Jackson to pay off the national debt and earned the distinction of being the only president to leave office with the country debt-free. While president, Jackson fought to restore the constitutional principle of we the people and to give a voice to those he represented. As their president, he inspired a sense of hope and promise in many Americans. In Jackson, they saw evidence of someone who succeeded through natural ability and hard work, rather than family name, wealth, and privilege. As the expansion of democracy during his tenure did not include women or minorities, Jackson is often the subject of intense criticism. Slavery remained deeply ingrained in the fabric of Southern society, and Jackson personally owned more than 300 slaves without ever freeing a single one. The policy of Indian removal, signed into law by Jackson, accelerated the displacement of Native Americans, led to the deaths of thousands, and established a U.S. government policy that would endure for the remainder of the century. Jackson left the White House and public life in 1837, retiring to his home at the Hermitage in Tennessee. Due to the panic of 1837 and the failures of the Martin Van Buren administration, Jackson became increasingly unpopular in his retirement. His health rapidly deteriorated and he died of heart failure at his plantation on June 8, 1845 at the age of 78. While serving as a hero to millions, Jackson is marked as a villain by countless others. 
The result of the life and presidency of Andrew Jackson is a complex, divisive, and enigmatic figure of American history. Few presidents achieved his level of popularity, and no other American has an entire era named in his or her honor. The impact of his time in office and the significance of the age of Jackson ensure that the character of Old Hickory is permanently woven into the fabric of America.